think to yourself, what is my hairstylist thinking when it comes to my haircut? You walk into a salon and you want your hair cut, but you have no idea what they're looking at when they're determining what cut should go with your face. So we thought, Jeffrey, we would get three women from the audience and you would talk to us about what you're considering when it comes to cutting their hair. And I'm going to start with you and I have forgotten your name. What is it again? Daksha. Daxter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Daxter, you look at Daxter, and then what do you what do you look at to determine her mm -hmm. cut? Well, it's interesting. Um, this is my 25th year behind the chair. Oh wow! Yes, and I, I grew up. Say we uh, give it up for Jeffrey. Uh, come on. 25 years. He started when he was <laughs> age three. <laughs> well, I have three older uh, siblings who are hairdressers too, so I kind of grew up right. in the business and. One of the things that I found when I started the industry that I was really interested in was facial shapes. Mm -hmm. So I went to a few classes where they talked about round faces and oval faces and square faces and heart shaped faces and diamond faces and it just confused the daylight. So I didn't, I didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> right. And then one day I went to a class where they talked about breaking people down into two simple forms, angular and soft. Mm. And it was a very simple way for me to understand how to tailor haircuts for them. Good. So that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, so and is Daksha angular or soft? Well, you know what? When I look at Daksha, I think it's pretty much a no-brainer. If you take a quick look at her jawline. Angular. Her be yeah, beautiful, strong features. Yeah. She's unquestionably angular. Yeah. So what do we do with an angular face? We want to balance it with a softer haircut. Okay. What's a soft haircut? Uh, a haircut that is sort of not too high up here and long is what we call an angular haircut. Okay. So I think if you look at Daksha, I don't know how this is going to translate, but if you got rid of this and brought this up, okay, around her face a little bit, can you see the difference there? That would be soft. That Just would be softer. Like that. that would be softer. Ah. It would create roundness around her face. So okay. when I'm talking to a client in my chair, that's the first thing we discuss: is their facial shape. Okay. Yeah. So we would be talking. We're, so we're talking about a nice bob, like a nice, a shorter bob. A nice bob, bob absolutely. Okay. And I mean, of course, it's still up to the hairstylist to modernize it, texturize sure. it, and all of these things, right? Yeah. But uh, the, the foundation for Daksha would be great with a bob. Okay, well now you know what concerned. you need, honey, right? Okay, let's High go over man. to, is it Anna? Right. Anna, okay, so we take a look at Anna, and I'm gonna say, she's, you've got a good cheekbone there. I think I'm gonna say more soft. Is yeah. it more of a soft silhouette? Anna's a rock star. She's a rock star, I know. <laughs> she's awesome. Uh, but you know what, yeah, when I look at Anna immediately, the first thing I would say is she's softer featured. Right. No question about it. She's got nice, soft, round eyes. Uh -huh. uh, just a beautiful softness to everything about her. So consequently, what we don't want to put on Anna is a round, is a round cut. cut. Okay. We want to look for something more angular. So again, to translate this with Anna, again, I hope this looks okay on screen, but I would do something that was longer okay. and almost more shaggy on her okay. to create length. All right. And so with some say, height yeah. up here. So when you say angular, you're that talking about like, are there more sort of hard lines in her cut? Um, no, like more the overall that? shape is what I'm talking about with angularity. Okay. So if you think about a, a circle mm -hmm. haircut and a square haircut. Got it. Or a rectangular haircut. A yes. shag would be more of a rectangular haircut. Okay. So she'd be great with height on the top, yeah. thin on the sides, and you know what? She'd be a great tucker as well. Okay. Height See on the I'm top, saying? thin on the sides. Yeah, Sounds like a mullet to me, <laughs> but never mind. Great tucker. Not a mullet. Yeah. That's very nice. Okay, angular for you. Now we've got Talon. <laughs> Talon is our last shape, and I, I'm going to try and guess Talon. I don't know. What do you... What do you guys think? Let's get a close up on her face. Do you think this is angular? If it's angular, say yeah. yeah. Do you think that this is round? If it's round, say yes. yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going with angular. That is why I chose this young lady to begin with. Okay. Because there are times where we all get stumped. Yeah. And this is one of them. Actually, if you look at her beautiful face, she has such big round eyes. That's the first thing I see. Right. And it gives her an overall softness even though she does have a beautiful angular jawline. So when I look at her, I see a little bit of everything. She's got both. And that's what I would tell her. Hey, man, you can pretty much do anything you want with your hair. Right. Yeah. Which they traditionally would have said with the oval face. Like when you were learning the Correct. face shapes, they would always say, oval, do whatever you want. Correct. Yeah, apple, do this, blah, blah, blah. But okay, so she's got a bit of both. You can do whatever you yeah, want. Totally. You can do the mullet if you want. So that's right. It's totally up to the you. The fee mullet. Yeah, the fee mullet. Yes. Very good lesson there, Jeffrey. Yes, Let's go to you. break. More coming up. Stay with us.